Only on a never before seen video and photos from the investigation into the murder of a woman allegedly killed by a former pro basketball player and his girlfriend. Eight News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us in the newsroom with that new evidence from the grand jury. The video we're about to see is of 23-year-old Marina Rogers right before she was kidnapped and buried in a Henderson neighborhood last December. These are the final moments of Marina Rogers' life, caught on surveillance video now, the center of the investigation into our two alleged killers. I want to make sure you understand and agree with that. 27-year-old Chance Comanche, a former NBA G League basketball player, and his girlfriend, 19-year-old Sakari Harnden, both facing murder charges. Police say Comanche and Harnden killed Rogers by strangling her and then burying her body. The photos from the grand jury showing a rocky, undeveloped lot near a suburban community near Gibson and Horizon Ridge, the scene where Rogers' body was found, covered in large rocks, eventually revealing Rogers, bloodied and stripped. Never before seen surveillance video showing Rogers with Harnden, both walking inside and out of a Las Vegas liquor store, Rogers dressed in a jean jacket and white pants. A Metro Police report shows Harnden and Rogers were both sex workers. Rogers thought she and Harnden were going on a double date to sell sex, but instead Comanche pretended to be the client. A security camera at a local grocery store showing Comanche and Harnden hours after the death of Rogers together. Metro detectives say Comanche confessed to the murder. Texts between Comanche and Harnden show a conversation before Rogers' death discussing how they should kill someone, asking if they would strangle her or use a knife and a baseball bat. And according to grand jury documents, Comanche had initially tried to find someone to kill her instead. Now, also, according to these grand jury documents, Comanche had initially tried to find someone to kill Rogers. The transcripts also revealing a third person who may have known about the alleged murder plot. Reporting from the newsroom, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. Now, Comanche and Harnden are scheduled for an initial arraignment in Clark County District Court tomorrow. Both of them do remain in custody.